Hey guys, I'm Tim Lanks with Red Dog Bushcraft. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today, we're going to take some of these walnuts. They're right good size now, almost baseball size. We had a storm last night, so some of them fell off of the tree. I went out and collected them up. We're going to take those and put them in this pot of boiling water. We're going to break these outside holes off. They call that the green hole. We're going to boil them up, make some more of that dye like we did the other day when we dyed our knife handle. But I'm going to take this 100% cotton t-shirt and I'm going to try to make some camouflage clothing. It's getting close to uh, hunting season now and time to start scouting the woods. So we're going to see if we can't make us some clothing and make it out of 100% cotton. You know the advantages and disadvantages of that. But we'll see how it turns out as far as a uh, earth tone type color. And if that's something that we can utilize when we're out in the woods. So stay with me, I'll be right back. Okay, all I'm gonna to do to make this dye is I've got a pot of water here on the stove and I guess that's, uh, I probably got about a gallon or so in there. And I'm gonna take this walnut and break it up and get it into some smaller workable pieces so that we can get all of that dye out of there. Walnuts are full of tannin and iodine, and I think that's going to be good for us as far as creating our dyes. I understand that in the more ancient times, the Indians and other peoples have used this particular dye uh, for their camouflage. So we're going to give that a shot. I thought it would be a fun project. Now, a warning about this stuff, if you rub this stuff on your hands, it's going to stain them and it's going to be there for a while. Now one thing you can do to help minimize that is as soon as you finish working with it, um, you can wash your hands real good with soap and water and that will help, but you're not going to eliminate that. The only way to really do that is to wear gloves. So I'll break the rest of these up and get them in that pot of water and we'll make our dye. I'm going to bring this to a boil, put the cover on it, and uh, let it cook for probably at a low simmer, 20 minutes or so. Alright guys, I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea how long we need to cook this stuff down. But, we've got kind of a greenish brown color going on here. And I don't even think I'm going to take the hulls out. I think I'm just, just going to leave them there and let them cook. And I'm going to take this shirt and just gently start letting it down into this wet mixture. Uh, I don't know. That's looking a little green, not exactly what I'm aiming for as far as my color. I'm hoping for something that turns out that basically looks like dirt. Just plain old black colored soil. And I think that would blend in real good in this area. Now I'm leaving this loose just trying to get it down in there. I don't really want the tie-dye look. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it all evenly saturated. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get my stuff ready for lunch, because I'm going to cook lunch out on the campfire today also. And while we're doing that, we'll just let that continue to cook down. And if we need to, we'll even let it reduce some. All right, guys, we got our lunch sitting there cooking up on the campfire on the old rack, and the water has reduced down to about right here, so I guess uh, about a fourth. And that was 13 uh, walnut holes is what we put in here, green holes. And so far, this is what we have on our white T-shirt. This is cooked about an hour. We're getting into a greenish brown earth tone now. Um, and I will tell you this, I don't know if it makes any difference or not in the dye, but I accidentally, uh, when I was moving some stuff around, I dropped a couple of pieces of these hot coals in there, and I stuck it down underneath the water real fast so that it didn't burn through the t-shirt, or at least I hope it didn't. And I don't know if that helped add to the darkness of the water or not. 
But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put the cover on this and set it aside and let it cool down while I finish up lunch. And we'll see how the t-shirt turns out at the end. Alright guys, I've taken the shirt out of the dye and let it dry, and uh, you can see how it turned out. It's a little lighter in some spots, has some dark brown streaks in it, um, but pretty much it's, uh, it's dirt color. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a five gallon bucket here, and I've got some laundry detergent that I make, and I'm going to put a little bit of that in this bucket. And I'm going to go ahead and wash this by hand before I take it inside and put it in the washing machine just in case any of that walnut dye slips out of it. So maybe the next time I shoot a video, I'll be wearing this shirt. And until then, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft. God bless.